St. Nicholas Cathedral School has welcomed 53 Ukrainian students since the war began in Ukraine, many of the children leaving with only their mothers. I was shocked about all this love and support which was provided to me and Mia and all in other families who faced in, in this such challenging um, choices and difficulties. Roxoliana Robak is among the mothers who left with her five-year-old daughter and her sister, leaving her husband in Kiev. It was like the horrible dream. You just do the things and don't, like in a vacuum. And you just live with the feeling and expect um, that the next day everything will be okay. But unfortunately not. Roback was hosted by her godparents in Chicago and was grateful for the warm welcome at St. Nicholas. But as the weeks dragged on, she had to plan ahead. So she and her daughter are moving to the Netherlands, where her company is headquartered. I hope we will have a great time there and, uh, uh, and move from there to Ukraine is not so far as from the Chicago. <laughs> Next step just in other way to, uh, to get back to, to Ukraine once uh, it will be the safe place to live. With all that's going on in her life, Robach says she will likely not celebrate Mother's Day in Chicago or Europe. But she asked Chicagoans to keep Ukrainian mothers in mind this Sunday, all doing their best for their kids for now and hoping to return to a peaceful Ukraine.